In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to make edits to a collection in Postman that you don't yet have access to. Here's a collection I want to work on. It's in a public workspace, which means that I can view it, but this lock icon tells me that I can't edit it directly. So if I want to make changes to this collection, what can I do? I'm going to need someone with the editor role to help me out. The first way to do this is to request edit access for myself. Since this collection is owned by someone I know in my organization, this will be the most straightforward way to go. I'll select the More Actions icon to open the dropdown and select Manage Roles. Then I see this screen where a postmodon is standing outside a locked door. I'll click the Request Access button here. Next, I decide who to send the access request to, and then in the Select Role dropdown, I choose Editor and click Request Access. What happens next? The person I send the request to receives an email where they can approve it. After it's approved, I'll get an email from Postman letting me know that I'm now an editor. Now let's jump back. What if I don't want the editor role, I just want to make a small change to someone else's collection? Another way I can do this is to fork the collection, make changes to my local fork, and then submit a pull request to the original collection. The first thing I'll do is fork the collection. This makes a copy of the collection in my own workspace where I can edit it. I'll give it a label so that it's easier for me to tell this fork apart from any others I might create. And I'll create the fork in my test workspace. I'll need to use a public workspace so that my reviewers will be able to review the pull request. I can make any changes I want to my fork. Here, I'll change the name of the request to something I think is more clear. Now I'm ready to create my pull request. I'll go up to the collection, select the More Actions icon, and then from the dropdown, I'll select Create Pull Request. In the Changes tab, I can see my updates. I'll go back to the Overview tab where I can choose who I want to review my pull request. This can be anyone who has editor access to the collection. Now I'm ready to click Create Pull Request. Postman will send an email to everyone I listed as a reviewer. Now it's up to the reviewers to decide if my changes are OK to merge. If they approve my changes or make any comments, I'll get an email letting me know. So those are two ways you can make changes to an element in Postman when you don't already have access. This example used a collection, but you can follow the same process when you need to request access to an API, environment, mock server, or monitor.